That sound, that unmistakable sound. Hear it for just a second and you know exactly what it is. Now, here is a motion picture film, a thousand feet, 16,000 separate photographs. The motion picture industry has evolved over the years, but the basic premise has always remained the same. The film unwinds from the reel and rewinds onto another reel after it runs through the projector. And much like the telephone industry, which went from this... You want to talk to Mr. Gutterman? One moment, sir. I'll connect you. ...to this... And we are calling it... iPhone. The film industry is at a point where it's not even a film anymore. So we're really excited about this new um, technology. It's truly transformed how the IMAX theater works. Charlotte's IMAX Dome Theater opened in 1991 in Uptown's Discovery Place, the first of its kind in the Carolinas. The nearly 300 seat theater stands 78 feet tall and with a super wide screen. For the first 30 years of its existence, loading a film was a labor intensive job, sometimes involving up to three people. It's a little bit like doing surgery, I would say. That, you know, if you think about all the technicians that are in, in addition to the physician and the anesthesiologist um, in an operating room, that's exactly what went on. And so it was really a huge lift for our theater team to really care for the film and get the theater up and running. And so they were having to splice film and thread film and, you know, making pivots in real time took a lot longer. And so it just, it was really time intensive. To get these super heavy films into place, a special hydraulic lift had to be used. So these are massive platters that weigh quite a bit. They're four to six feet in diameter. And so one false move and you could severely damage that film. The few times that we've done for first run Hollywood releases, which you know could be upwards of an hour and a half or two hours. That film footage, if it were unrolled, would extend almost all the way from Discovery Place to the Charlotte Airport. When the COVID-19 pandemic hit two years ago, Discovery Place, as well as the IMAX Dome Theater, were forced to close. We suddenly were faced with a situation where no one was going to the movies, right? But instead of seeing the shutdown as a doomsday scenario, officials viewed it as an opportunity and began transitioning the theater from traditional film to digital technology, which had only just been created. This opportunity came to us almost on the heels of the pandemic, that we were able to make that investment and spend the time to truly update this space. We were really fortunate to have financial supporters who also saw it as an opportunity because at the same time we were making very hard cuts to the amount of personnel that we had on staff. Thanks to $1.2 million of renovations, the theater got new seats, carpets, and all the necessary equipment to switch over from film to digital technology. You know, this is an example of technology in action. With our new projection system, it's a 4K laser projector and it is spotless. It, the quality is so amazing. Um, really feels like you're almost in a 3D environment with the immersion. So what used to be a heavy lifting multi-person job is now as simple as plugging in a hard drive and clicking play. The new system provides sharper, brighter, and more vivid images and a new audio system with six laser aligned loudspeakers. The new system made its debut in February with the Beatles' recently released rooftop concert. It was like being at a rock concert, like your private rock concert. And when the film ended, the audience applauded like you would had when you go to a concert. We were the number one theater in the country out of several hundred theaters that showed the Beatles. We were the, had the highest attendance. In March, crowds lined up again, Batman! this time for the new Batman movie. Good afternoon and welcome to the Accenture IMAX Dome Theater here at Discovery Place. Only eight IMAX Dome Theaters nationwide have gone digital, and it was kind of difficult for our cameras to capture what being in the theater with the huge high quality picture display and surround sound audio is really like. It took my breath away, quite honestly, and I wasn't even expecting that crispness and that true feeling of immersion, and it's just, it's, it's unreal, and so I think people will be really excited. The plan for the theater is to showcase a mix of IMAX movies, documentaries, new Hollywood releases, and even video gaming. Having the opportunity to bring this to Charlotte now, I think is perfect timing, because people are starting to want to get out of their houses, get back to normalcy. Perhaps the only issue now left, 
figuring out what to do with all the huge leftover film reels sitting out in the hallway. For Carolina Impact, I'm Jason Terzis reporting. We hope you enjoyed the story. If you don't want to miss any more great stories about the Charlotte region, please subscribe to our YouTube channel.